Hi guys, so I know that I've been gone for like a super long time but um yeah i tried to just you know like squeeze in a video today really quick for you guys um i have a nyx haul for you guys and if you guys watched um my last haul video i think i'm not sure if it was my last haul video i don't think it was but um it had a lot to do with beauty products and stuff i did mention that i was gonna make a nyx well show you guys my nyx stuff but i ended up not even showing it to you guys because the video was way too long so i decided to make a separate video so um this video will be me basically just showing you guys all my nyx stuff and i just basically ordered everything off of um cherryculture.com it is really hot i would have the fan on but my fan is super loud so i'm gonna try to do this video quick before my makeup melts off but yeah, so um, I basically ordered all my NYX stuff from Cherry Culture. Um, I decided to check the site out because I've seen a lot of YouTubers, beauty gurus and stuff. They, you know, say that they order their NYX stuff from um, uh, Cherry Culture. And I decided to check it out and I spent like about $100 on this stuff that I'm about to show you guys. So anyways, enough with the rambling like always. I'm just going to get right into the video. So... The first thing that I ordered is the NYX eyeshadow base and I got it in white and it just looks like that. Um, I got this only because as you guys know when you guys use a white eyeshadow base your um, colors if you guys want to use colors you know like uh, pink, green, well whatever you know bright colors they show up more and it's more vibrant so yeah that's what I got and the funny thing is is that when I smell this, it smells a lot like Asian like face creams and stuff. I don't know. I just thought I would mention that. The next couple of things that I got were lip liners because I've been realizing that I have like almost everything like lipsticks, blushes, and all that stuff. But I don't have any lip liners. So I decided to pick up a few and I'll show you guys them like one by one. The first one that I picked out was obviously this one that um, I've been looking for in stores but you know I can never find any NYX product stuff in stores but I had a friend named Mary and she would always have this like um, pink lipstick on her lips and I always asked her what it was and she told me it was actually a NYX lip pencil and it's in Dolly Pink. That's how it looks like. Yeah, sorry I used it but um, let me swatch that on my hand for you. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's it right there. I thought it looked so nice that I just had to get it. And yeah, she basically just applied this all over her lips. I don't know if she used a clear gloss on top of it or whatever, but I loved the pink so much that I just had to pick up this lip liner. The next one I got is in hot pink. I basically just got a lot of colors that, you know, I would think, what colors do I have? Well, what kind of lipsticks do I have, um, you know, the color-wise and stuff. And I just picked out, you know each one lip liners and stuff for it am i even making sense i'm sorry guys if i'm not making sense close the door close the door okay come in but be quiet all right okay come in hurry up okay close the door okay my son came in but anyways um i I'm not even making sense. I'm sorry, guys. I haven't made a video in so long. But, okay. So, basically, the lip liners I picked, I just decided that... <laughs> you can see his bald head right there. That's Shai's head right there. Where is it? Come here. You guys haven't seen him in so long, huh? Here's Shai. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Go over there. But anyways, let me just finish what I was going to say. But um, I just thought about all the lipsticks that I have, like each color and stuff. And I tried to get like a lip pencil that would be very, very um, similar to it. So I can always have a lip liner for my lipsticks now. But anyways, so yeah, this is hot pink. And there it is swatched next to dolly pink right there. Comes off very orange, but it's actually like super hot pink. So yeah, that's hot pink. And then the other one that I got is Flower. Um, I got this obviously for my pale pinks, but it doesn't really show up much on my lips when I try to outline it, but it's okay. I still like it. That one's Flower. I hope I'm not showing you guys these swatches so fast. The next one that I got is Natural, obviously, for my um, nude lipsticks. 
looks very brown but when you have it on your lips you know it's nice you can blend it in very well with your nudes and you can just see the outline of your lips better I don't know if I'm making sense but yeah that one's natural right there comes out very like I said very dark like it's brown but like I said when you guys have on like nude lipsticks it does tend to wash you out but this makes it like show a little bit more and it's very very pretty I, I'm in love with this this is probably like my favorite lip liner that I got the next one that I got is Auburn for my like hot well not hot but like my brick reds that's it right there and the next one that I got is deep purple which I do have outlined on my lips right now with something with another um, matte lipstick that I will show you guys in a bit but this one is deep purple I love using this with my red lipsticks because I like to do like that whole ombre thing where I outline my lips with deep purple and then I put like a bright red sometimes or whatever um, in the middle and then I try to blend it out as much as I can but I don't know I love the combination but I did uh, um, get this for my purple lipsticks but looks nice with red too so that's it right there deep purple and those are the lip liners that I ordered off of um, Cherry Culture the next two things that I um, got was the NYX Extreme Lip Creams and I only picked up two the first one that I'm going to show you guys is called Candyland, a very like, I don't know, it looks like a very rosy kind of pink to me, but I love these lipsticks. I think they're very nice. Um, I've always wanted to try out these um, lipsticks ever since they came out, but I guess they're called, um, they're like lipsticks, but basically, you know, lip gloss form, and I don't know, I really like them, but sometimes I do feel like they dry out my lips sometimes, so... I don't know, I always try to apply like a, a lip balm before. So this is Candyland right here. It's very pretty. Yeah. And then the next one that I purchased is Nude Peach Fuzz. And the only reason that I got this was because um, Jen from uh, Close Encounters, I think she said this was her favorite. So I really, really wanted to try it. But it's a very, very pretty pinkish nude. And that's it right there. Love it. I really, really do like this and stuff. Um, like I said, if you guys want me to say like a quick review, because I'm not going to lie, I haven't used them all that much to give you a very good review. But so far, um, when I wear them, there are times where, you know, they look very nice. And then I notice maybe a couple hours later, they start to have like, I don't know if you guys ever get these with that line like that. And then it's just like, you can see the line between the lipsticks and I don't like that I think it looks really weird but um, like I said most of the time I apply lip balm first so it, it goes on very smooth and moist moist moisturize it a bit so yeah um, these are the two that I got and the other thing that I got was the soft matte lip cream I only picked up one and I got this one in I don't even know how to pronounce this Istanbul Istanbul is spelled I S T A N B U L and it looks like a very very pale pink and that's how that one looks right there um I really really like this and um which one my uh extreme lip cream in um Candyland but there are times when I do wear these pinks and I don't know it makes my teeth look extra yellow and sometimes I don't like that but um, other than that I really really like the formula in this um, as the name soft matte it does go on matte and yeah I really really like it the next two um, things that I picked up are the matte lipsticks and I picked pale pink I don't know I was really really just trying to find a really really nice pale pink but maybe I need to come to realize that pale pink always make my teeth look yellow but other than that, when I'm not smiling, it looks really good, so. <laughs> but, um, I picked a pale pink, which looks like this. In love with the color. Oh, let me find a place to swatch it. So, that's it right there. Ooh, pale pink. I don't know if you guys can see that. Very, very, very pale, ye um, pale yellow. Pale pink. It looks like, you know, basically like a baby pink or whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying, but yeah, right there. And then the next one that I picked up, which is the, lips, the matte lipstick that I'm wearing with um, Deep Purple Lip Liner, is Alabama. And 
this is the only thing I hate about summer is that my <coughs> lipsticks sometimes end up melting and stuff and this actually this unfortunately melted but I'm in love with this I picked this out because I really really wanted a dark red it is pretty dark you know more darker than my other reds but not as dark as I probably would want it to be but I'm still in love with it but yeah that's Alabama Ooh, it came out really like a lot but um yes that's Alabama right there now time for blushes I actually picked up seven blushes I really really wanted them a lot and um obviously I'm gonna be doing swatches on my hands I just want you guys to know that of course swatches on your hand is obviously way different than swatches on your face because um I don't know I'm not gonna go and put them all on my face but I will be swatching them on my hand just so you guys know obviously so um the first one that I want to show you guys is silky rose very pretty like I don't know looks like a very auburn type of pink oh, I don't know if you guys can even see it but that's silky rose right there that was like about like three dips and like that so and then the next one is peach very very pretty I love this it's like a pink I don't even know why it's called peach it's like a pink but I'm in love with this. I love it when I just want to have something like make my cheeks, um, you know, have like a like a flush of color. That's only one swatch. I don't know, maybe it's because I was rubbing it around a lot, but that's peach right there. The next one that I want to show you guys is mauve. Very, it doesn't even look that mauve to me, but it looks very um, sort of like a bronzy pink color I guess I am not good with describing colors whatsoever but that one's mauve this one's mauve right there <coughs> and the next one that I got is dusty rose obviously just looks like a very dusty rose type color I don't know so that's it right there dusty rose very 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 pretty probably one of my favorites Oh my god, my face is like starting to look more dewy because it's so hot. And then the next one that I got, it's called Pinched. I really, really like this. It's like a pink and you can see sort of like sparkles in there. Looks like, um, I don't know, I can't even tell if it's gold or silver sparkles. But I love how whenever I apply this on my cheeks, it gives me a natural highlight. But yeah, so this one is called Pinch. One, also one of my favorites. So that's it right there. That's pinched. See? Can you guys see that? Oh, love it. And then the next um, one that I got, I have it on today. It's called Desert Rose. Looks like that. I know. When you guys look at it, it's like super vibrant. So obviously, if you guys were to use these blushes they are very very pigmented I would start out like with a little dab and of course you know tap the excess off and just build it up so this is what I have on you guys can see this one obviously on my cheeks but yeah this is desert rose I'll do a swatch of that one too just so I did a swatch of all of them like I said this one's super pigmented look at that yep and the last blush that I got I actually picked this up because um, if you guys watch Nikki tutorials here on YouTube she is like one of my favorite youtubers she always uses this color as a contour and I just had to get it this one is in taupe looks like that and I do have this on today as well as my contour but I don't know if you guys can even see so yeah this is taupe and let me do a swatch of that and that's it right there So yeah, basically all that off of cherryculture.com. It was about like 99 something. I'm not sure, but yeah. And um, they also gave me a free um uh, lip lip balm or whatever that you know. I think it's from Cherry Culture. They're the one who made it. They let me choose between like all these um fruit flavors and stuff. But I decided to just go with bubble gum because that was the only one that wasn't you know fruit. Um, I have used it. Works like any other lip balm smells like bubblegum or actually it just smells like um uh to me it reminds me a lot of the cherry chapstick or whatever but yeah they gave me a free cherry culture lips balm 
So after that, um, I decided to just go and browse around again on the internet, which made me end up purchasing more stuff. But um, I was on Amazon and I just decided to look up NYX stuff. And I found that they were selling like um, more lip pencils, but like in packs. And I decided to order this because, I don't know, I just couldn't help it. But I ordered this pack of six, which are like very, very... Um, pink orangey colors and stuff and for this pack of six uh, NYX lip pencils it, I paid about let me see I paid $11.91 for all of these so yeah I don't know if that's better or not but anyways I'm just gonna go through the colors for you guys the first color that I saw that obviously it came with that I already had was the dolly pink and I already did a swatch of that for you guys earlier so I'm happy that I got to you know back up and then the next one that I want to show you guys is, let me see, this one is in rose, very, very, like, normal pink color. Let me do a swatch. So that's rose right there. The next color that I got is tangerine, and I think this is for, oh god, I dropped it. So yeah, this is tangerine, very, very like light orange, I guess. Comes out very vibrant on my hand. I don't know if it's going to come out vibrant on the camera, but yeah, that's tangerine for all my orange lipsticks, like nude oranges or whatever. The next one is pinky. Looks like a very, very hot pink. When you look at the pencil, it looks very pinkish purple. Yeah, it comes out very pinkish purple. But yeah, that's pinky. And then the next one is coral. God, I'm just dropping all of this stuff. That one's coral right there. And the last one is orange. Obviously, very orange for all my maybe like super bright oranges. I don't even think I have any super bright, super bright oranges. Oh, yeah, I think I do. I don't know. Well, whatever. I can always just use this as a lipstick by itself. But yeah, that's orange. Super bright and pretty. So yeah, that's basically it for all my NYX products and stuff. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if I seem all over the place. I'm really trying to record this video really fast because it is super hot in here. But yeah, so um, hopefully I can keep this thing going. But I'm glad that I got to get this video out for you guys. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. And like always, I hope you guys enjoyed my video, guys. Bye!